Uh, I have a few things to make you aware of, but before I do, Dan wants to talk to you a little bit about Captain Dan want, wants to talk to you a little bit about the 63rd Lightfoot Militia. He grew another leg, though. You're ready. Thank you. Well, good In, evening. Inside the lines, Dan. you got to stay inside, inside the, lines. the lines. You were kidding, were you? Uh-uh. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, hello, everybody. Um, I appreciate you giving me a few minutes to speak to you. And I'm sure that there's uh, quite, a, quite a few questions out there that I might, might be able to answer for you. Um, I felt it was important, though, that I showed up as the commander of the 63rd for the last, I don't know, eight to ten years. Um, and we have elections every October, every year. Somehow I've been asked to be the commander every year. But it's time for me to rotate out. It's been time for me to rotate out for years. It's a matter of putting, giving up that that position to new people. Um, and that's what I believe in what we're doing here is getting elected officials, getting them in that are well qualified to do what we need to do as far as patriots, as far as uh, protecting the Constitution and our rights in that. But we need to get people, good people in, and then we need to get them the hell out. Okay? And the reason for that is because of what we're seeing right here locally with our own sheriff. Now, I don't know how many of you have a good feeling about our sheriff here. Wow, really? Okay, I'll keep the food in, in, in your bodies there. Okay. Um, well, the reason I wanted to talk tonight was this: I have tried to keep the sheriff as a, you know, how's the saying going? Uh, go, you keep your friends dear, and you keep your enemies closer, right? Now, am I saying that Sheriff Ozzie is an enemy? No, I'm trying not to look at it that way, okay? Because when you start doing that way, then you're, not, you're, you're close-minded to any and everything. But what I do want to say tonight to you, and why I'm standing here, is that I am very, very, did I say very? Concerned about Ozzie Konevich. Many of you, in all honesty, were ahead of me in wanting to, to even say that, okay? You've been long standing against him and, and some of the things he's been saying. I'd like to kind of allow people to really show their colors, you know, in a lot of different ways. He has showed his colors in a lot of ways. Now, with me saying that, I want to say that because of the position that I'm in as the commander of the 63rd, as a militia person, okay? As you all know, we get hammered day in and day out in the news, both locally and across the nation as a militia. Um, we have a good standing, not only here locally, but across the nation, okay? We have an outstanding name. And we have a good relationship with Alphabet Soup. Who would you think Alphabet Soup is? Federal, right? FBI, DEA, anything that has to do with firearms. We have a good rapport with them. And that rapport is important for not only for us as militia, but for you. But what I want to explain to you tonight is this. I have been in meetings after meetings with trying to get things resolved with Burns, Oregon. Okay? Two weeks straight, no work, nothing but Burns, Oregon. Okay? Federal agencies coming, talking to me constantly because they know they have an open door with me. Trying to get a hold on what they're thinking in order to get some sort of resolve to it. They don't get it. They just flat out don't get it. Okay? They understand to some extent, but they don't get it. So what I'm, what I'm wanting you to know tonight is that with our elected official, um, Sheriff Konevich is that he and as well as the alphabet soup has said this to us. If you get pulled over or you're wanting to be pulled over by a law enforcement official, no matter whether it's a marked or unmarked vehicle, you will pull over. If you don't submit to the authority and what they're saying, 
in the immediate uh, context of the word, meaning when he says, put your hands, get down on the ground, if you do not perform what they're saying in an immediate way, you could very well be in the same situation that the boy is in. Which is telling, what is that telling us? What is that telling us? Okay, that's a death threat. Okay? Now, this is very, very, very alarming to me. Because first off, it tramples all over the Constitution. My argument that I want to make you aware of tonight, my argument with the authorities, whether it's sheriff, whether it's alphabet soup, is this. So that means if you put up your hands but you don't get down in the time frame that you expect them as a law enforcement officer that you will shoot them whether they're armed or not whether they brandish a weapon or not and basically the answer was you take that chance if you do not perform according to the law enforcement officer that's confronting you ladies and gentlemen i'm telling you we have a major problem Okay, and w we have a huge responsibility here, and I, that's why, again, the Tea Party is so important, and you need to have more family and more friends here, okay, because we have got to change the minds and hearts of people through elections, period. Weapons will do it, but I tell you what, there's going to be lots of bloodshed, and it's not the initial way to go. It should be the absolute last resort, and I need you to know that as the commander of the 63rd, that has always been my philosophy. And just like the beautiful young lady that was up here speaking, the Holy Spirit leads my way of thinking, okay? But tonight, what's important for you to know, and my militia members don't even know at this point, is that what I just shared with you, if you do not perform as a as the law enforcement expects you to perform, you could very well be in the same position as Lavoie, Levitican. Okay? So you need to make your, your, your choices. If you carry, if they know that you carry a weapon, that you will be put on alert that you are being the, to the law enforcement, that you are carrying a weapon, and you will be, you will be um, instructed basically the same way as Lavoie, Levitican. Okay? So you must perform. So the warning tonight is you either perform, if you step out of line, you very well could be shot. That's plain and simple. It's exactly what they said to me. It's exactly what they want me to get back to anybody in the militia is exactly what's going to happen. So what does that mean to each and every one of you? Anybody? How many of you have how many of you have concealed weapons permits? A good many, majority, okay. And many, aren't telling you. And many others aren't telling me that's fine. Well, but even those that aren't carrying that are carrying that don't have a weapons permit, just be concerned that that's what's going to happen. Okay? So anyway, tonight with that, I just want to let you know what the temperature gauge was. It's not good. I was hoping for better. I'm still working uh, with the uh, alphabet soup and others in order to try to get a better understanding of what we are, who we are, and that they need to stay on task with the Constitution and constant reminder of the Constitution because I guarantee you this communist, and it is a communist regime, it's not a social regime, it is a communist regime that is moving forward that wants to eliminate what was up here on the on the movie earlier wants to eliminate that old piece of paper. God bless you all and just keep us in prayer, please. Thank you. Okay. Hey. Quick uh, question for Dan. Go ahead. Uh, Dan, have you uh, talked to the uh, sheriff's uh, unions, the uh, deputies uh, associated? To, to, the, to the actual unions, unions themselves? No, but the union representative was there. At, um, we have, just so you know, we have a meeting every quarter with Sheriff Ozzie, and then lately it's been a lot sooner than that, but he'll normally have a union representative there, a captain, yeah.
Okay, so Dan will be here for you guys to ask questions of. I 